Good morning, everybody, from the Shenandoah Yurt, which you can see right behind me, located near Shenandoah National Park, where we will be spending the next few days exploring and spending time in the yurt together as a family. This is a super cool accommodation, one of the coolest places we've stayed. We've been here for one night already, and I'm waiting for John and Tiana to wake up so we can have breakfast and get our day started. Iris and I were the early birds this morning, so we came outside to enjoy the sunrise and the cool fall air. There's technically still a few days left of summer, but it really feels like fall now, so this has been such a nice morning. Look who's finally awake up here. And the first thing she wanted to do was show mommy the birdhouse that we found yesterday. Do you remember where it was? Right there. Wow, that is so cool. You relaxing? So I got high school in the end. Start first in me. Down the rocks. My feet got all grassy. Yours are grassy too. Oh, get out of the yurt. For breakfast, I'm going to be making oatmeal because there's nothing like a hot bowl oatmeal on a cool fall morning. Is that like a quote off a cup or something? I just made it up. Okay. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. I think it's true. Okay, ready? Yep. Oats. Yes, I poured them into a glass container to make it more pretty. Water. Stove. Wow, where do they get the recipe at? Watch the magic happen. <laughs> One thing that's super nice about this yurt that I've already discovered because I've cooked two meals here so far is they have everything you need if you love to cook. All I had to bring was the food. This kitchen's all ready for a chef. This is the most important part of making oatmeal and it is the toppings. So we have some white chocolate peanut butter. We have some maple and some raspberries. And then on mine, I have chocolate. Here you go, babe. Thank you. And Tiana didn't want oatmeal, she wants cereal, so that's why she doesn't have a bowl. More for us. All right, so now that we've all eaten and gotten dressed, we're ready to get the day started. And actually, first things first, we've all been dying to try the bow and arrow. So this is actually just hanging on the wall in the yurt, and you can go out back, they got a target waiting for you. Fun fact about me, when I was younger, I used to shoot archery in competition, so we're gonna see if I still got it. Hey, baby girl. Yeah. You ready to go shoot the bow and arrow? Yes, yes. All right, will you help me real quick? Yeah. All right, I'll hand you the stuff. Here you go. Whoa. Look at you. Well, you need some arrows too, okay? I'll hand these to mommy because they're a little bit sharp. Okay, we have to be very arrow. careful with this, okay? Uh, you can hold one arrow, okay? You want to go shoot at the target? Yeah. Let's do it. Where's the target? Do you know where the target is? Right there. Oh, I see it. You ready? Come on. I'm going to teach you how to do it. All right. Stand right here. You hold the bow. Good job. Good form already. I like it. Okay, we have to be very careful, okay? Because this is a weapon. All right, well, we're going to teach you how to use it. And then that way, you'll be ready for anything. Are right, you ready? All right, two fingers like this. Okay. No, no. Oh, you want to hold my hand? Okay, that's fine. All right, remember, don't be scared because Daddy's going to help you, okay? Watch the target. All right, we're gonna pull back, pull back, pull back. All right, look at look at the target. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> you got it in the blue. Look, go look at it. Good job. Can you get the arrow back out? That was a good shot, Tiana. Pull hard. Wow. Daddy gets to try again. Are you ready? All right, remember, you always stay behind us, okay? Okay. You never get in front of anybody with any type of weapon, all right? Okay. Good job. All right, I'm pretty far now. I don't know if I'm going to even hit the target. Shit. <laughs> Daddy might have to get back into archery. Oh, nice. You want me to show you how to get an arrow out of a target? Okay, so you walk up beside it all the way, and you put one hand flat on the target and grow and grip as close as you can to the arrow, and then pull and push. Perfect, and then the pointy part, look at me, pointy part always stays down to the ground, okay? Okay. You can just hand them to me as you pull them out. Thank you so much. Now, guess whose turn it is? My turn! 
shooting. All right. Because mommy's shooting, you and I have to get all the way, all the way, all the way over here. And then we have to hide behind a tree or something. <laughs> Sleep on me, you guys. Oh! oh we were doubting mama. Look at mama. All right, now you gotta back up 10 feet. Whoa! Oh. Babe? Oh. I think you might have hit the neighbor and they're like a mile away. <laughs> oh. How's it going, babe? Well, it looks like there's a path, so I think more people have done oh. this. Whoa. Yeah, watch out. Oh, goodness. Those but branches really will don't. grab you. I really don't know where it is. Babe, now. I'm telling you, that thing went like up there somewhere. Okay. Oh. Do you see some. it? Well, I don't know if it's mine, but I found some I found three. Oh. And I only shot one. So back more people here. missed than us. So yeah. that's uh that's nice. Oh, I found four. Oh nice. Okay, I think this one's mine. Yeah, we'll just call that yours, but we all know that that's not yours. We are doing Tiana's homeschooling now, so we're going to do a numbers and a letters lesson. Um, while we're traveling, we have really been trying to get on a routine for schooling because we're going to be gone most of October. So we need to do your homeschooling while we're traveling, huh? Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> Today we are on the letter N in our phonics book. <laughs> the N sound is the beginning sound you hear in the word nose. Can you say nose? Nose. I'll say it and then you repeat it. Ready? Nail. Nail. Good job. Name. Name. Note. Note. Now. Now. Number. Number. And then what's this one? You know what that word is? Yeah. I think we know it. Ready? Nurse. No, I love it. <laughs> okay. okay, now you can go. To now the we can play the game. Ready? Say n n nest. N n nest. Good job. Now let's move on to a new sound. <laughs> it's serious, babe. This is serious. Oh yeah! Yes. Okay. Now, what is this one? Does f f flower start with N? No. What color should it be? Red. Yes. Two. Now we're doing numbers tracing. Yeah. Ah. What comes after nine? Ten. Can you draw a ten down here? Oh, I want to see. Can she do a ten all by herself? Okay. Okay. There's okay. the one. What comes after the one? Yeah. Yeah. She did the 10 all by herself. Your first 10. This was it's fun and all, but hot tub? Yeah! yeah. Oh, oh. Hit hot him with the couch pad. Hit him with the couch pad. Oh, oh, can I hit him with the, oh, raise the roof. Raise the roof. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so while they jump in the hot tub, I'm actually gonna give you guys a tour of this awesome yurt. All right, so right when you pull up to this thing, you're immediately awestruck just by how cool the structure itself is. And I cannot wait to show you guys the inside because it is going to blow your mind. They thought of so many things with this house. They did a really great job. Some that you can already see is they put a nice little hammock lounging area over here. It actually has an EV charger attached to the house. Over to my right, they have a really cool archery station set up, which you guys probably saw us giving that a shot earlier and then down here a little bit they actually set up a whole fire pit and then you have the full walk around deck which leads us to the entrance of the house i was getting ready to start this tour and uh, i heard some screaming and apparently my lovely wife over here fell into the hot tub ouch babe is mommy okay yeah oh she says you're okay yeah <laughs> can you please not interrupt my tours again can you just not fall down for five seconds <laughs> All right, now let's show you guys the inside, which I'm super excited about. How cool is this place? Check out the ceiling, which is my favorite part. So off to my left over here, you actually have a gigantic sectional sofa that actually sleeps additional guests. You got a huge TV on the wall. And then next to that is a half bathroom. And then underneath the stairs, you actually have a washer and dryer, which is great. And Iris is just loving this. She has the place all to herself. 
So she's taking a little nap right there and it is really cool that they allow pets. All right, so then you go back this way and you have a nice indoor fireplace right here. Off to my left, you have a full dining room table over here. Then over to my right, you have a full size kitchen, which Rihanna was really excited about. You have a full coffee bar over there. And then back in the left, you have a tea bar. And then back here, there's Iris's room right there. Uh, you have one of the bedrooms right here. Another bedroom over here. And then over here, you actually have the full-size bathroom. You got a full tiled shower with the rain head. Always a nice feature. And this actually has an upstairs as well. And this is where the fun begins. Upstairs, as soon as you get to the top landing, you have a pool table. Over here, you have a nice workstation with two monitors already set up. Game station, card station. And then over here, you actually have another sofa, which folds out into another king-size bed. And then check this out. Really cool view of the entire setup, which leads me out to the back porch, which arguably has the best features. One of those being the view. You can actually see the mountains in the background over there and the sun sets right there. And you can watch it all from this amazing hot tub. Amazing. We have been in and out of the hot tub all afternoon and I was actually about to make dinner, but then these guys decided it was time to get prepped for the fire we're gonna have tonight. So we just need to chop some wood. So come here, baby girl. You're gonna help me. All right, come here. Stand right, stand right here. Like maybe like right there, okay? Put your hands on each side of the wood. All right, now hold it steady, okay? All right, ready? I got you guys, I got you guys. <laughs> Are you ready? Paul Bunyan. Whoa! Do you have a beard coming in? You need a flannel. I do. I need a flannel and I need some Copenhagen. What do you think of Daddy's chopping? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Get it. 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 She's dancing. We don't care about your chopping. <laughs> Oh, that was so sweet. Okay, fine. Oh. <laughs> let me try, let me try. No, mommy, do it dangerous. Okay, I'll hold it. Okay, thank you. Turn this around. Okay. Film mommy like this. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <coughs> We're going to be here for a while, baby. Oh. Oh. An unorthodox style, but it worked. Good that job, feels babe. good. <laughs> Whoa, watch it. All right, hold it up tight with two hands. All right, are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, we gotta try again, okay? All right, almost, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah! Look at we that. Did it. There's too many bugs. Is there too many bugs? <laughs> gotta go like this, you gotta go like this. Ah, ah and then run. Ah! We need to find some kennelin. Some what? Kennelin. Comment down below. Does kennelin sound like molasses is spilling out the corner of your mouth? Good job. I don't know what else I can do. I've been prepared. And okay. <laughs> What is wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that the fire's all situated, I'm getting ready to make dinner here in this cozy kitchen. And I'm gonna be making creamy gnocchi soup, um, which I've made before and is absolutely delicious, perfect for this cool weather. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it because it is a must try. Okay, cuties. Isn't she so cute? She's cute. <gasps> little baby. She's the most docile little kitten. Cause of Tiana. Oh, <laughs> she starts going crazy. Here we have the ingredients for the soup, except garlic. I forgot that. It's a tragedy, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Carrots, celery, onion, bay leaves, spinach, gnocchi, soy curls. This looks like chicken and it ends up tasting like chicken when it's done. Vegetable broth, coconut milk, olive oil, salt, pepper, and thyme leaves to season it. The first thing I'm going to do is add some olive oil to the pan and heat that on medium high. Once that's heated up, I'm going to add the vegetables, the carrots, celery, onion, and the bay leaves. I'm gonna saute all that together. Then I'm going to add the vegetable broth and coconut milk, 
salt, pepper, and thyme leaves. Once it's boiling, I'm going to add in the gnocchi and the soy curls and reduce the heat to a simmer for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then add in the spinach. And once the spinach is added in and starts to get wilted, I'm gonna turn it off and let it sit for about five to 10 minutes before serving it. Now it's at our red table. Good job, baby. And you didn't break them, it's like you promised. Who's ready for some gnocchi soup? Me. Mommy. One more scoop, and then I'll get one big one for mommy. One big, big, big one. Mommy likes the greens. Okay, that's for mommy. Yeah. Yeah, I only the best. Okay. Um, I like that toy too. Okay. Starts. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. One at a time. Make the dog very fast. I'm getting scared. Very fast. No! Don't do it! No! What's it do? Alright, go ahead. No, 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 no! I'm scared. Stop. Make the dog. No! I knew that one was going to happen! Now I'm going to have nightmares! Do they eat mommies or daddies? Um, the mommy, mommy, and daddy, and me. All of us? Some, sometimes. Oh, okay. <laughs> it only eats all of us sometimes. Good, okay. okay. Ah! Now. Hey! Sometimes, ah! sometimes, Everybody get your bowls. Help, me, okay. help us take the dishes back to the kitchen. You got it? together. Yeah. She wants me to go under with her. And you? <laughs> All three of us? I don't know if we can fit. Yeah. I'll just put my head in. Alright, ready? Set? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was good? refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Alright. One, two, three. Pretty good, babe. Look at that. He does swim, I make small. I so that is I make small. And fight and small. And grab crab or small and brown. Do you think Daddy did a good job or a bad job? I will go good job or bad job. The pick. Good job, I think. You're right. Uh-oh, that's going to be on fire. Okay, let mommy blow that out. Help me. Ugh. <laughs> Do not eat that. No! It's so crispy. I know you will. Ah. Uh, Do you want to try it? We had a great movie night last night. We all slept in this morning and now we are out on an adventure and we have found the most beautiful park. It's in the valley here and it's surrounded by mountains and it is just absolutely gorgeous. The weather is perfect. Nobody else is here, so we're just gonna be hanging out. Are you ready? Yeah. Hold tight, two hands. <laughs> Daddy. 
Almost. I made it. Woo! Girl, you did it. Look, you can see the mountains from up here. Okay, well, I'll just throw you down and you'll just land on your feet like a cat. Okay. One, two, three, jump. Whoa, that was crazy. Ready, set, go. Wait, how do you do it? You're not beating me. Oh, no, no. No! No! There's that. <laughs> Look, Mama! What is it? Whoa, car fireworks! It's ugly. Yeah. I live that. Those aren't. Whoa, did it jump it at me? Jumped. I think this is one of the ones you used to pick up off the sidewalk yeah, all the time. You can pick it up. Okay. Sometimes I just jump the stairs. Down, you want to pet it? No thanks. We are now in downtown Luray, Virginia, we so we're going to be exploring this area looking for somewhere to eat lunch. We found a neat little cafe to eat lunch at. It's called the Gathering Grounds Cafe. And when we got in here, we noticed all the cups have JMU on them, my alumni. That's where I got my bachelor's. And they had some veggie options on the menu. So this is gonna be the perfect place to fuel up before we walk around downtown and see what else there is around here. I think they're closed, baby. So it says, look, Monday, is open Tuesday, CL closed. Wednesday, CL closed. The ice cream shop that we came to try is closed on Wednesdays. So we looked it up online, but we didn't look at the hours, which is our fault. But we're gonna go on a little hike that's supposed to have beautiful views. So hopefully that distracts Tiana from the ice cream situation. <laughs> get it, girl, get it, get it, get it, get it, girl, get it. Oh, go to Yana, go to Yana. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. We decided to do the Massanutten Storybook Trail because it's supposed to have beautiful views and it's only about a mile round trip. Tiana's at a kind of awkward age for hiking because she's too big to be carried the entire time, even though John tries, but she's still not old enough yet to walk and do long, intense hikes. So we're trying to find more manageable hikes to help build her confidence with them. And this seems to be a really good one. So you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, don't sound too excited, guys. <laughs> a little bit tired after eating. It's okay. <laughs> Woo! There you go. You have the energy for both of us. All of us. Boom! Nailed it! Oh, McDonald had a. You're scrambling. That's what it's called. Wait, I don't know where this goes actually. Mm -hmm. Are we just gonna do it? We're yeah. gonna go for it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what trail we're on now. We took a side trail, followed Tiana, and now we're kind of off on our own. But if you come here, this is not the main trail, just FYI. So maybe don't follow our path unless we end up somewhere really cool. We're about to find out. Spoiler alert, it does not end up anywhere really cool. This looks kinda cool. I thought it was gonna be a good view, but it's blocked by the trees. Oh. What do you think? You wanna go get back on the regular trail? Yeah, we're going back on the regular trail. It was a really good side mission, Tiana. Yeah, it was a hidden, uh, a hidden trail. And maybe there's some magic up here. Maybe we're all have magic powers now. Yeah! See if you have some electricity. Oh my gosh, you better be careful with all those powers. Hey! Hey! hey. I have a feeling this view is going to be 
Way better than the last one. I can already kind of see it. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> How far can you see? Me far away. Me too. Minimal effort hike with an awesome view. It's a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. We're back at the yurt now after our day out, and I had to tell you a quick story about this apple crisp I made when we got home. So the theme of this trip has been fall. So on the way here, we stopped at Kroger to pick up groceries, and I had the ingredients in there for apple crisp. And I got everything except the apples, but I didn't realize until we got here that I didn't get apples in my order. Um, well, so I had given up on the apple crisp. When we were arriving home, the neighbor actually, he came out and he had a huge bushel, I think you would call it, of apples and was like, take as many apples as you want. And so he gave us like 15 apples that he picked off his own apple trees that he's grown on his property. Um, so it just was so random to me that the one ingredient I was missing was apples and then he gifted us apples. Really awesome, they're super nice people. So now thanks to them, we are enjoying this delicious homemade apple crisp. And it's our last night here in the yurt we check out in the morning so we're gonna be just hanging out watching a movie another movie night Tiana's request because now every night's a movie night and she's totally obsessed and then tomorrow we're just gonna sleep in and enjoy our last morning before we have to check out but I wanted to say thank you so much for watching the video thank you to Shenandoah Yurt for this amazing experience and if you guys want to check out Shenandoah Yurt and book a stay here we are gonna leave all their information in the description below their Instagram their website all that good stuff we highly recommend it as a getaway if you want to take a trip out here we could definitely see ourselves coming back and on that note we have a lot of exciting travel coming up in the coming months so you'll be seeing us get ready for Southeast Asia we're going to Istanbul Turkey we have like a lot of fun stuff planned so stay tuned on our future vlogs thank you so much for your love and support we love you and as always we'll see you next week